and welcome to Shear Pole. This tutorial is about stag and reverse stag on static pole. I'm already warmed up, so please make sure you've warmed up and I've already gripped up, so let's begin. Remember static pole, the pole is not spinning, so make sure your pole is not on spin. If it is, it's okay, you can still follow along with the tutorial, but you're gonna be getting a different sensation around the pole. On static, we build the momentum. Our body is doing the work. The grip is a little bit different and the work behind it is different because the pole is not what is taking us around. It is our outside elements, our arms and our legs, and the movement that we bring around the pole that does it for us. Stag is where we are stag. So we look like we are sitting on a carpet. So this is a good move too, where you learn to trust the hips, open them up, and you can do this on the floor where you switch them because you're gonna work both sides. You are staggering the legs. So remember to point your toes, but the idea is this is what we look like around the pole. Okay, on stag, we are gonna learn to bring the foot in. We are gonna learn the muscle memory that it takes to do this. We are going to be cupping one of the legs in front with the back of the heel. It does not matter which side. We're going to be working on both sides. This is stag. When we are coming around the pole, we are going to use the outside leg as the one that we bring onto the pole. As we do that, throwing up the back leg is gonna give us the momentum to get around. Let me show you. So, we're going to start on the left-hand side. Right side of the body is the inside, so you're gonna hold on with your inside hand about chest height. You're gonna walk into the pole, swing the leg around, hold on. Fun, let's try the other side. You want to have your inside inside arm chest tight we're going to walk into it we are going to bring the outside leg we are going to cup it onto the pole and this is a great way to practice so when you are walking into it engage the abs pull the leg in and place it on the pole exactly where you want it the body is going to remember that you're going to build muscle memory we're going to walk into it placing the heel on Bring your outside arm about chest height and you're going to bring this one up and throw it around. I'm going to show you. Two, three, hook the pole and bring it around. Now you just need to practice. Let me show you again. We're going to walk into it. We're going to swing our leg around, grip it with the pole, bring the outside arm chest height. That is stag. Remember the idea is to have the hook of the heel bringing the back leg up as if we're sitting on a magic carpet. Let's go into reverse stag. Reverse stag is where we are going to be turning our body. So stag, we were coming into the pole and we were going the whole way around. Reverse stag, both feet are on one side of the pole. We are going to use the side of our hip to catch ourselves, and we're still gonna stagger our knees, but they're gonna be on this side of the pole. In regular stag, this is what it looks like. The knee is connected at the pole in front, and this leg is behind. In reverse stag, we are placed with both feet on side of the pole, and what helps you keep from hitting the pole is you're going to come up closer to the hip and your feet are going to be like this. This is reverse stag. And reverse means we are going to switch our torso and that's how we end up on the side of the pole. I will show you. We are gonna walk into it. We are gonna bring our outside leg for the momentum. We are going to turn and come through. Let me show you again. We are gonna walk into it. 
We are gonna bring our outside leg around and we are going to lift up the hips. So we are on both sides, okay? They're a little bit different. Let's go over that really slowly. Let's walk through that. We're gonna be walking into the pole. Our outside leg is going to come in. We are going to be switching. And as we are moving, we're going to spin this leg out and stag it as this leg comes up to the pole and stags as well. So now your outside leg is this leg. When we started, we were walking around the pole to get the momentum we switched. Now this is the outside leg and we are going to swing it around, okay? I'm going to show you. We're gonna walk into it, switch, Now you try. I'm gonna go over them again. Regular stag and reverse stag. One, two, three. We're going to be coming around the pole, hooking with the heel. Reverse stag. We are going to change, bring our torso towards the pole, switch our outside leg. Switch. Oh, my brain just did a, it did something odd. Did you see my hips move there? Sorry about that. One, two, three. Switch towards the pole. This is our outside leg. Bring them up. Okay? And you'll get stronger as you practice. So don't worry, don't be discouraged on a static pole we need momentum to get around the pole. So keep practicing. Thanks so much, guys.